Sembozita, I'm from Val. Please call me the testimony. Uh, my testimony, I was addicted to smoking Daha cigarette and some drugs called Christian. And what I can tell is that if you smoke this drug, Christian, you don't sleep maybe for two days. So I used to smoke it. And when you smoke it, it's like you are visiting the, the kingdom of, of hell straight because you are seeing things that people don't see. And I can hear a person maybe from that corner when I'm here, the way it makes you to feel. Please inform us more. How long were you smoking all these drugs that you are talking about? Uh, these drugs, I was, uh, just smoked it for three years, but smoking cigarette and weed is about eight or minus years. Okay. Did you try anything to try and stop from smoking the cigarettes, the drugs, and all that that you were smoking? I will try to stop maybe for one month, two months, but if I can find someone smoking who I know, I will just go back to smoking again. Please tell us, what happened when you came to Shakana Clear's Faith Ministries? Uh, I came to Shakana, it was, I started last year, uh, but my deliverance, I got it on the 18th of June, where I got my deliverance. Mm -hmm. And men of God prayed for me, and after my deliverance, I didn't, I didn't no longer go back to smoking. Put your hands together for Jesus. So you are saying that you came for deliverance here in Shakana Clear's Faith Ministries. You were prayed for by the man of God. After he prayed for you, you are no longer smoking yes. at all. You no longer have that urge that you used to have anymore. Yes. Praise the Lord. <laughs> when the man of God uh, was touching you at that time that he was praying for you, please tell us how you felt on your body. What happened? Uh, I felt fire inside my body because I'm a person that likes to dance. I was just coming, like I was not going to dance that day. I was just coming to church to visit. And I got my, my deliverance that day. Praise the Lord. Congregation, let's look at our screens to, look, uh, to see our brother's deliverance, the deliverance that he is talking about right now. Church. Leave him, leave him, leave him, leave him. Come here. Check. You see? Check. Okay, leave him, leave him. Just take this and drop it in his body. Just drop it in his body. Finish. Leave it. No, it's another one. Where's that woman? Where's that woman? You know, I just want to show you what you want to eat. The demon doesn't eat this. This is fire. He's free. Just make touching of this. Now, look at your body. All over. Fire in Jesus Christ's name. Thank you, Lord, for his freedom. You snake, you cannot use him again. You snake, you cannot use him. You cannot destroy him. Who come with this boy? Who come with him? Uh, take. Take. Uh, eat. You see? You know, if you eat the, blood, the body of Jesus Christ and drink his blood, Satan shall have no power over you. Yes. You know, I tell you, come and eat here. That when God bless you, can I tell you the highest thing to get out of trouble is to buy fruit and give children of God to eat. After they eat, you go home and become fruitful. Yes. I'm telling you. You go home and become fruitful. It's because you don't know the secrets of God's kingdom. That's the secret. That's the secret. 
Now look at, you go and take it. Okay. You, you just go and take and eat. I was advising them yesterday or before yesterday that the highest thing you must do now during this fasting is to keep fruit in your house, in your office. You don't eat, but let people enter there and eat. Say, this is no longer fruit, but the body and blood of Jesus Christ, that anyone that eats of it shall live. My enemies, as these people are eating this food, you leave me alone. Poverty, you leave me. Spiritual husband, spiritual wife, you leave me alone. Failure, setbacks, you leave me alone. As you are saying that, instantly they will run away from you. If you, if you are here, they will see you from there. They will take rest. I'm telling you. That's the secret. That's the secret. Hallelujah. Amen. It is well with you. Amen. They use him to kill, steal, and destroy. That's all. That's what they use him for. We have seen how our brother was delivered just by a touch from the man of God. Since that day, he says that he's never had that urge anymore to do any smoking at all. Praise the Lord. Brother, what word of advice do you have for those who are coming here who've got a habits that are not good habits, addictions that they have? What word of advice do you have? Uh, what I can tell them is that they must be they may be addicted to smoking and some stuff, but when they come here, they must be addicted to this church because this church is a solution center at all. Praise the Lord! There is no better way to put it than the way that our brother has put it. Praise the Lord. We thank you so much for your beautiful word of advice. We pray that that uh, deliverance that we've gotten stays permanent in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen.